Hello and welcome to Five Minutes with Marv. My name is Marvin Ambrosius and we are here again with a very, very special guest. We've got broadcaster, podcaster, cyclist enthusiast. I've got Orla Chenoway. How are you today? I'm very well, Marvin. Thank you. Well done in pronouncing the name correctly. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> right now. You don't know, but I'm going to start the timer from now. And here's my first question going now. So what does fitness mean to you? Fitness means wellness, it means happiness, it means uh, living life to the full. That's what fitness means. And it means um, physical as well as mental. For me, the two are absolutely intertwined and I need one for the other. Okay. And have you always been someone that's been an advocate of fitness or has there ever been a part in your life or time where you haven't been working out as much? Yeah, there was a time. I've been um, really into sports since I was a little girl. I competed in athletics as a kid. And then when I stopped competing, that coincided with me going to university, which coincided with discovering a love of partying. And at that stage, I really let my fitness go. And that was fine, really, because I'd been so obsessed with it for a long time until I realized that I did need it for my head as much as for my body. And for, for me now, it's a way of life. It's not... Um, it's not something I'm doing for any greater purpose. I don't compete in anything, but it just makes me happy. It makes me well. It makes me live my life the best way that I can. So, uh, but yeah, I've, I've learned the hard way what, fit, what a lack of fitness does to me and it's not pretty. <laughs> uh, well, coming from a competitive background, did you feel that in your actual becoming someone who's layman in actually getting fit, did you feel like you became quite competitive within your own stats and like riding further and getting there faster? Did you feel like you naturally had that competitive drive when you were on and cycling? Do you know what? No. Um, I mean, I'm a very competitive person with myself, but actually I've had to let that go with sport because I did compete to a fairly high level. I was like Irish champion as a junior. Um, and when you've competed at any kind of a level and you step away from that, it's really hard to run or do anything that's not com that's not competitive. But if you're not winning or you're not trying to win for me, then I lost right. the point of being competitive. So actually, I've had to completely turn it around and say it's not about the stats. It's not about the data. It's not about the distance. It's not about the speed or the power or the what. It's just about doing it for fun and feeling well. And that for me works an awful lot better because if I'm competitive, I'm all in and I can't be all in. I've got a job. I've got two kids. I've got a busy life, you know, and, and I'm not going to be winning anything anytime soon. So uh, no, I leave all of that. I'm, I don't look at Strava. I don't, um, I, I, I don't even generally know how far I go on a ride, for example. And um, I'll just do what feels right. I go on feeling. That's actually brilliant because a lot of people don't do that and they think that competing against something means they're going to do it. But actually, the biggest competition is yourself in actually doing it in the first place. So that's Absolutely. a brilliant answer. And with yourself being in the public eye quite a lot and have been for many years now, with the change in social media and how we are perceived and how we actually put ourselves forward on social media, did you feel any pressures at all to actually stay healthy, be in shape or have to show more skin? Or did you ever go through that kind of phase in social media? Not really. I mean, I, I tend to do my own thing and, and that will attract criticism or praise depending on the other person's point of view. And it's always the other person's point of view. There's a pressure, obviously, if you're a woman in particular on television. But Marvin, you know what it's like. That pressure also comes from yourself, you know, and you're, mm. you, you are your own worst enemy. Yeah, um, yeah. I would say probably it's been a good thing for me because i um, I wouldn't make time necessarily to look after myself in the same way if there wasn't that extra pressure from myself. But um, I don't I don't pay attention to that kind of thing on social media, partly because of the stage I am in my life. You know, like I say, I've got two kids. I've got so much going on. I'm not bothered whether someone finds me attractive or not. That's not why I'm doing it. It's all about how it makes me feel. Yeah, it's, I'm glad you said that because I feel like with a skill and um, studying and something that you've done in the past to be as great as you are at your job, the confidence come within you knowing what you do for a living rather than the confidence in looking good. So would you say that's a, there's a correlation between that for you? Yeah, absolutely. For me, um, my, my entire focus is always about doing the job the best that I can. In that respect for television, you have to make sure that how you look isn't a distraction, you know, for good or bad. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm all about the content. I'm all about making sure I know my stuff. I'm presenting as best I can. I'm getting better at my job. Um, 
but I am aware that with television, the look comes with that. So I, you know, I do care about how I look and I do care about the image that I can project, but as much as anything, it's because I want to also show, um, like I had another period in my life after I, I gave birth to my first child and I suffered postnatal anxiety and depression. And I felt like when I recovered from that, I don't know if you ever recover fully, but it's important to show other mums as well. You know what? You can get your fitness back. You can look the business. You can be a different version of you, but but just as together. And so that's why it matters to me more than anything. But when it comes to my job, yeah, I'm more about making sure I'm doing my job properly. If I was judging my looks, I'm in the wrong gig. Yeah. And I wouldn't have the job, you know? I'm not a model and that's not what I'm there for. So, yeah. No, I really appreciate that. That's such an amazing answer. I can't wait to share that with people. But also as well, we are literally at the end now. It goes so quickly. Oh? But um, I just want to ask you this question. Now, when you work out, what is your, if you have one, your go-to song? First thing that came to mind. Oh, um, uh, No Church in the Wild, probably. Okay, who's that from? Who's that by? It's, um, it's um, Kanye and, um, oh, you're putting me on the spot night. Beyonce's husband. <laughs> yes, and Jay Z. Yes, no church. Is that on? Is that on the Watch the Throne album? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yes, no yes, yes. I, I, as you said it, I went. I know the title, but yes, amazing song. In the wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. God, I'm a non-believer. Yeah, yeah. yes. I just Frank like the Ocean. rhythm as I'm running. Yeah. Frank Ocean on that one. Yep, I got you. I got you. See, that's, <laughs> that does get you going. That. That's on my yeah. playlist. So yeah. You oh, good, good, good. Well. But no, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming on the Five Minutes with Marv podcast. And I wish we could talk longer, but we will have Yay! extended podcasts very soon. But again, thank you. And just let us know about your social media where we can follow you and where we can find and follow your career as well. What is that, please? At Sports Orla on Twitter and on Instagram, that's sports with an S on the end as well as a start. Um, you can see me on Eurosport doing the cycling coverage. I'm doing some MotoGP, um, doing lots of stuff on Eurosport um, mainly. That's where you can find me. Awesome. You heard it here first, guys, and we shall see you soon for next week's episode. Thank you. Are you sure about that five minutes?